Hello, today I will discuss chapter 8, Measures of Dispersion for Ungrouped Data, Comprehensive Practice, Question 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Question number 4. A set of data contains 7 numbers. The sum of 7 numbers is 84 and the sum of the squares of the numbers is 1920. Calculate the variance and the standard deviation of the set of data. To answer this type of question, normally I will list out the important information. First, we list out n equals 7 because 7 numbers. The sum of 7 numbers is 84. So, sigma s equals 84. And the sum of the square of the number is 1920. So, sigma s square equals 1920. After I list out all the information, now I find the mean. The formula of mean is sigma s over n. So, sigma s we can get from here 84 and n equals 7. Mean equals 84 over 7 equals 12. Okay, so now we find the variance. The formula of variance equals sigma s squared over n minus mean squared. So, sigma s squared is 1920. n equals 7 and mean equals 12. So, we fill in here. 1920 over 7 minus square of mean equals 274.285 minus 144. Variance equals 130.29. After we find the variance, we find the standard deviation. As you know, standard deviation actually is square root of variance. Standard deviation equals square root of 130.29 equals 11.41. Question number 5. The range and the standard deviation of a set of numbers x1, x2, x3, until x10 are 10 and 5.2 respectively. Calculate A. The range and the standard deviation of the set of numbers. To answer this question, normally I will write, write the range and standard deviation first. So the range equals 10, standard deviation equals 5.2. Okay, after that I will compare this set of data with the original set of data. After you compare, you will find that every number here times 2. So when each value of a set of data is multiplied by a constant, k, okay, then new range equals constant times original range. New standard deviation also k times original standard deviation. So now the constant is 2. So the new range is constant 2 times original range 10. New range equals 20. How about new standard deviation? Also constant times the original standard deviation. So 2 times 5.2 equals 10.4. For question B, we look at data here. We compare to the original set of data. We found that each data minus 1 and divided by 4. There are no changes to measure of dispersion when each value of set of data is added or subtracted by a constant. So we can ignore this one, every data minus 1. But when each of the set of data is divided by a constant k, the new range equals original range divided by constant. New standard deviation also original standard deviation divided by constant. So now the constant is 4. New range equals n 
divided by 4 equals 2.5. As new standard deviation equals 5.2 divided by 4. So new standard deviation equals 1.3. Question number 6. The masses of a group of 8 pupils have a mean of 45 kg and a variance of 2.5 kg squared. Calculate the sum of the masses of the 8 pupils. As we know, mean equals sigma s over n. Variance equals sigma s squared over n minus mean squared. And I will write down the important information first. Mean is 45 kg. Yes, equals 2.5 kg squared. Now we want to find the sum of the masses of the eight pupils. So sum of masses actually is sigma s. So we can use this formula to find the sum of masses of eight students. N equals at. Now the formula of mean sigma s over n. Here we know that mean n equals 45 and n equals at. 45 equals sigma s over at. Opposite of divide is multiply. So if sigma s equals 45 times at. 316. B. The sum of squares of masses of the pupils. So the sum of square of masses we can get from the formula of variance here. Sigma at square. So this formula to find the sum of square of the masses of pupils. As we know variance equals 2.5 kilogram square. N equals at N mean equals 45. So I fill in all the information in this formula. Is I will move this number to the opposite side. So opposite of minus is plus. I plus 45 square equals 2027.5. Opposite of divide is multiply. A uh, s square equals 2027.5 times at. S square equals 16,220. Question number seven. The mean of a set of numbers m minus 4, m, m plus 2, to m, to m plus 3 is 10. A. Calculate the value of M. So, for this question, I will use the formula mean to find the value of M. I will find the sigma S. So, here how many M? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 M. And the numbers here, negative 4 plus 2 plus 3 equals 1. 7m plus 1 divided by number of data here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So divided by 5. And from the question, we know that the mean is equals 10. The opposite of divide is multiply. Times 5 equals 7m plus 1. Opposite of plus is minus. So 50 minus 1 equals 7m. 7m equals 49. m equals 7. We find the standard deviation. So before you find the standard deviation, you already think of m already. So you substitute m equal to 7 into this set of data. So Minus 4 equals 3. Seven plus 2, 9. 7 times 2, 14. 2 
2 times 7 plus 3, 17. After you have this set of data, you know, standard deviation, the formula is square root of sigma s square over n minus square of mean. It's all the number here is power of 2. So 3 power of 2 plus 7 power of 2 plus 9 power of 2 plus 14 power of 2 plus 17 power of 2 divided by 5 minus square of mean 10 square and square root of 24.8 from the calculator you will obtain the answer 4.980 so normally we write the answer in four significant figures number in the set of data is multiplied by 3 and then added by 2 Calculate the variance of the new set of data. Find the new variance. Okay, so here k equals 3, the constant equals 3. And you know there are no changes to measure of dispersion where each value of a set of data is added or subtracted by a constant. So here added by a constant. So I just ignore it. So what is the new variance for? This question, original variance equals 4.980 square. Original variance is 24.8. So now I want to find new variance. Constant is 3 and new variance is k square times original variance where means constant is 3 3 square times 24.8 variance equals 223.2 just number 8 the table below shows the values of n sigma s and sigma s square of a set of data and calculate the variance before you find the variance, you need to find mean. Table we can get sigma s equals 66 and n equals 12. It's divided by 12 equals 5.5. Still remember the formula of variance. Sigma s square over n minus square of mean. Square is 1452 n equals 12 minus the mean 5.5 power of 2 equals 90.75 number p is added to the set of data and it is found that the mean is increased by 0 0.5 calculate the value of p now new mean is after p added is 5 plus 0 0.5 equals 6. The sigma s is 66. After p at the e, 66. And the number of the data is 12 plus 1. Plus p equals 78. p equals Seventy eight minus sixty six equals twelve. B two of new set of data square of S equals one and fifty two plus square of P twelve power of two. Because it, uh, before that, each number power of 2. So P also need to power of 2. 1,596. The number of the set of data now is 13. Find the standard deviation. 
formula first sigma x square over n minus square of mean square is 1596 divided by 13 minus the new mean is 6 so 6 power of 2 deviation equals 9.315 Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more.